All right, our hosts have some topics to share, but we only have three minutes to discuss and one minute to hear comments from the audience, so type those comments fast. Now, any topics where our host won't shut up, we've got the dreaded oh. mute button, <laughs> and they can save their comments for the after show. All right. <laughs> Can't nobody mute me. I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> All right. Lizzie? Well, Lizzie, you are up first. <laughs> so this is kind of a somber, um, quick fire topic. You know, it happened right before the new year, right after hol right after the holidays. A 16 year old girl in Ohio was shot and killed accidentally. So as far as we know right now, but was shot and killed accidentally by her father who thought that there was an intruder in the house. Apparently it was around four, 4.30 in the morning. Um, he heard some noises in the house. The alarms went off in the house and he grabbed his gun. And when he saw, you know, who he thought was the intruder in his house, um, he shot first and sought to ask questions later. And unfortunately, the person that he shot was his daughter. Mm -hmm. So my question to you all is, and believe it or not, unfortunately, this happens more than it's reported in the news. Do you think the father should be charged? Let's start with Gianni. I don't think the father should be charged. When I was reading it, I was like, this is like a typical case where the teen sneaks out, right? If that is the case, if that's what it was, where the teen sneaks out, but it turned wrong. I immediately saw, okay, gun issues. We're having too many guns in the house. And and granted, for protection, people could still use that argument, but too many cases like this, like Liz said, it's not even, not a lot of those cases are even in the news. Um, yeah. That's mm -hmm. my it's, um, it's, it's a tragedy, and but unfortunately, this is a cultural issue that we've touched on, and it's so different to US and Canada. Um, Shooting first and asking questions later is a great way to accidentally kill your kid. I mean, he, she was accidentally identified. That's that's what the accident was. She was accidentally identified or misidentified. The shooting was the intended action, and unfortunately, it had very tragic consequence for this family. People need to start facing consequences. Uh, it, it it's not who he wanted or who he expected to gun down, but. Yeah, it's what happened. I think I personally think that uh, he should be charged because I find it if you have children in the house, you don't shoot first and ask questions later. You just don't because you don't know if your child got up, did something. I mean, if you have children in the house, I think at least uh, involuntary manslaughter or some charge along yeah. those lines. But they said that during the during the police uh, call. Somebody was in the back saying, what was she doing in the garage? Like, what are you doing in the garage? It doesn't that's even matter. Thing. It doesn't and, even but matter. See, but see, ahead, that's Lizzie. where I disagree because my alarm, if, if a child is in the house, more depending on what type of alarm system you got, but most alarms don't go off just because someone is moving around in the house. Something has to be triggered. A door has to be open. A window has to be open. Something is tripped that sets that alarm off. It was 4.30 in the morning. You're trying to protect your family. You're trying to protect your family. Right, Liz, I nearly give you about stabbed, 15 more seconds. Go ahead. I nearly stabbed my roommate, my old roommate's friend to death because I sleep, I keep telling y'all, I sleep with a butcher knife underneath oh, yeah, my pillow. And this young lady at like 2, 3 in the morning, drunk in my house, came into the wrong room. And as right. soon as my door opened, I'm like this, and it, it. Thank goodness I was able to recognize because I exactly. met her earlier in the evening. If I had not met her earlier that evening, she would have got got. Let All me right. tell you, my safety is first. Let me get first. to these comments. Let me get to these comments. All right, so um, Sherry Blaine Priest says this issue is very different in Canada, uh, very tragic. Uh, whether he's uh, this is Jacqueline Robinson. Whether he is charged or not, he's already imprisoned in his mind. He will never recover from this. Yes. His marriage probably won't survive this. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. And then um, I could, uh, who is this? Sherry Blaine Priest agreed. I was saying Robbie Rock. I couldn't imagine living like that. Guns everywhere. That's from Joe. And I think we could 
talk about this more in the after show Definitely. because I, yeah. there's another case that I want to bring up for you all. So yeah. tune into the after show, a similar yeah. case from several years ago. Yeah, we'll definitely talk about this in the after show. All right. Yeah. Let's go to quick fire. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm about to miss it. <laughs> Got to make sure I do it. Truth, lies, shenanigans. All right. Is this truth, lies, or shenanigans? It's a little truth. I mean, I don't know if this is, I don't know if we have a, a category for this. Um, I think shenanigans. I think shenanigans. I think it's shenanigans. Yeah. True situation. I mean, I think with every, every, every week we come up with a new category that we have know, to right? add. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we might have to elongate our name. A subcategory for the shenanigans. <laughs> All right. I'm up. All right, so I know you're tired of hearing about Kim and Kanye over the last year, but there's more craziness. <laughs> so over the last year or so, we've seen Kanye say he wants out. Kim try to try hard to make it work. Kim filed for separation. Kim, <laughs> Kanye start dating other people, then start asking for Kim back. Kim dating Pete Davidson with more Kanye drama about that. And now Kanye decides to buy a house <laughs> basically across the street from Kim paying almost half a million dollar over asking price, in part to win her back. Um, but uh, the reports are he did it to be more available to his kids. So my question is, is this going too far? And do you think they'll eventually get back together anyway? Robbie? <laughs> Boundaries, dude. Boundaries. Yes. Holy shit. I mean, if the long game is to get your ex back, buying the house across the street so that she has to deal with you in some way every day is not the way to win her back. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. I'm sorry, Kanye. I'm sorry, but yeah, like this is just I think... more of Kanye being Kanye. Oh. Are they going to get back together? You think they'll get back together? Oh, God, no. Yeah, <laughs> you know I don't know, but crazy. Oh yeah, God, no. crazy. So, <laughs> all right, Gianni, what do you think? I mean, I feel like it's it's not weird if Kim doesn't think it's weird, right? Because Kanye is one her ex husband, okay, to her baby's father, her children. Sorry, that's he's okay. still her husband. The divorce is not final yet. The divorce is he's not still final. Her husband. Yep. Okay, still, divorce is not final yet. They're just separated, and so it's like it's not weird if she doesn't think it's weird. I I think. They strike me as the type of people that would like have like a compound or like acres of land and still have like exes live on the land. Like they're just like a very. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I mean, yeah, it was, especially looking at my like, you mean, sisters. Yeah. <laughs> like a stable? <laughs> like a stable, like a stable of men. <laughs> All right, Lizzie, what do you think? <laughs> this is a non story. All of the outlets that have reported on this story are using clickbait. Across the street for them is not across the street for us. For us, yeah, that's true. Kim Kardashian, <laughs> Kim Kardashian lives on a five and a half acre compound. The house is 15,500 square feet. It's gated. There's a long drive to get to the house. Tons of security. You can't see the house from the street. You can't see the house from Kanye's house. Different level. So there, there, there is no, oh, he's going to be peeking in the windows. He's going to be guarding, you know, or looking at what she's doing. You can't do that with where she lives. But it's a little bit it's beyond the possible. same neighborhood, though, right? But still, it would be the, it would be the same equivalent if he was living across town. He would still have to drive. Is up. it though? <laughs> is it, it is. Far? He doesn't. He doesn't have automatic <laughs> access to get onto her property. And True. for those of you who don't know, like Gianni said. Kim hasn't said anything about this. So yeah, as didn't. far as we know, she was on board with this. But growing up, I had All friends right. who said- Sorry, Liz. <laughs> All right, we got to get to these comments. <laughs> All right, so Kevin yeah, Thaxon's called it- They live in the same building. They live downstairs <laughs> in the same <laughs> building. Kevin Thaxon suggests- Not says, out suggest... of the ordinary. <laughs> Kevin Thaxon suggests we say- we come up with trunigans. <laughs> trunigans. All right. <laughs> Jack Rom says the underlying question is who cares? Seriously. Uh, Jose, <laughs> it's been said he wants Kim back, like publicly saying he wants her back and will do anything. Uh, Kevin Thaxon, his children live across the street. Um, and Fred says, Fred Hargrove says, what if you get a drone? 
Or what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Now that's the creepy part. <laughs> to, to see the house. <laughs> because, you know, if, if you've got get, Kanye but, level but, money, you can buy it. Get a drone. Get drone and get amazing footage. But he could get a drone without, he could get a drone at any time. You don't have to live across the street to get a drone. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> like, come um, on. Like, I mean, you guys really I'm glad, glad you agree with me. Logically, <laughs> this happens more often than not. I have friends. I know it does. Live Especially. Who live around the corner. As Especially in, in Hollywood. Complex. Like, Kim was just at his show a month ago. Yep. With a wedding dress. Mm-hmm. With a wedding dress. Like, come on. <laughs> Which was really odd, by the way. All right. This so. is all clickbait for y'all. All right. shenanigans. All right, we all know what this one is. So, yeah. That's shenanigans. It's all man. bullshit. Did you see? This is bullshit. That's stupid. Shenanigans. <laughs> so Liz got all bullshit. Johnny got in the shenanigans and bullshit. You okay. Do anything for the headlines. <laughs> they really will. That's a good point. Liz. Oh hell yeah. This yeah, yeah. This is all about headlines. This is all about headlines for them. All right, Gianni. What's up with Cardi B? Okay, <laughs> our girl Cardi. This might be my favorite my... topic of the day. <laughs> I found my soul after my ass shot. A quote by American rapper Cardi B. Cardi B had quite the day with Twitter users going back and forth on the topic of a Brazilian butt lift, a.k.a. a BBL. Um, The rapper had replied to a tweet by a Twitter user who had posed the question, teeth before BBL, which refers to whether it's better to get veneers as a cosmetic investment before a Brazilian butt lift. Cardi B's reply that men will pay attention to a woman with a great body before they will with a great smile. Adding that this is an investment for your teeth and this has triggered the debate. So my question to the panel, what do you think? A nice body or a nice smile? Also, could cosmetic surgery be a game changer for success? Mm-hmm. Let's start with uh, Liz on this one. Ask me if I care about input from a man about <laughs> what my body should look like. <laughs> Ask me that. <laughs> I am not getting any surgery to impress a man. Are you killing me? Let me tell you something. I have never in my life had an ass. Never. Black. <laughs> Do I care? No. I mean, I've always been endowed up front, but in the back, no. And it's never caused me any trouble with this is getting a, BBL. a fucking man. But this also, too, sense. like, you know, there's a lot that goes into not having your teeth properly taken care of. It's actually a That's health true. hazard. Mm-hmm. It's actually a health hazard. That's true. But, you know, you're talking, to, you know, I have no love for Cardi B. I've said that before a thousand times on this I show. I take care of my This teeth, is a young lady who, you know, her entire body at this point is fake. And yep. her teeth are fake. Mm-hmm. All right. All so, right, Robbie, I'm going to jump in before you. I, I'm personally a, a plastic surgery hater. I prefer all natural, flaws and all. It's what makes us unique. Too often people try to look like someone else trying so hard mm-hmm. to look. you just got to love yourself you know be you're good enough you're good enough um especially with these implants i mean and the risks associated with it. I, I got some graphic pictures here but i got to show them some people's butts have literally exploded from this mm-hmm. thing. literally exploded like not even kidding so um yeah mm. the health mm. the health hazards be laughing. happy with Go yourself back. people Robbie, what do you think? Go back to that last picture. Go back oh, to that last ew. picture. So obviously the one on the right, for our listening audience, the one on the right is a picture of a woman and what her butt looks like post-surgery, and it's like a disaster surgery. Her butt is basically mutilated. But the one on the left, that looks like That's we not nice. talking about the Kardashians. That looks like a Kardashian ass. Because at mm-hmm. least two Kardashians <laughs> have mm-hmm. had BBLs and it looks like trash. It's lumpy, it's shaped real funny. It's it's awful, it's awful. It's All right, Rob B, we gotta give you some time. Rob B and Gianni, we'll let you get in there. Go ahead. All right, so question, body or smile? All right, a nice body can be appreciated, looks fade, confidence and smile. That's where I'm going every time. Um, Cardi B's body insecurities are her own and she should be insinuating that like Liz said, that women should be getting surgeries because of men, because of what they're attracted to. And I mean, this quote, I found my soul after my ass shot. <laughs> what the hell? I, 
culture. I'm so I'm sorry that your mommy's culture. values are so fucked up. I'm so sorry, culture. Talking to culture. I'm so sorry. I'm talking to the child. Talk to her I think child. she pronounces the culture. I think she pronounces the culture. Uh, what do you think, whatever. Gianni? What are your thoughts, Gianni? Um, so the question was a nice smile or a nice body. I think a nice smile will get you everywhere. Um, but also, in Cardi B's defense, men, and she said, look at the words. If knickers, okay, I didn't say the word, but I said the word. So, I'm sorry, I, I saw a comment group, online. I'm sorry, I apologize. Go ahead, continue. So, specific group of men that prefer, like she said, a girl who has a curvy body over somebody with a nice smile, they'll take anybody with a gap. They don't care what their face looks like at this point. So, it's an investment for this archetype and this group of men she's going for. Um, the ones that throw money at the strip club that she works at, the ones which is not this is this is not like downplaying what she does, but this is a real business for her and those women who are influencers and who do get money off of their bodies. Yeah. No offense, but that's that's what but it there is. are a lot of but there are a lot mm -hmm. of these young ladies in the public too who aren't working in the entertainment industry, who yeah. aren't right. strippers. We're gonna have to pick this up in the after show, guys. Less than yeah. because they don't because have, that. you know. Right. Let's pick this up in the after show. Comments online. Yeah. Paulette Bertrand says, ouch. Uh, Jose says, be happy with yourself. <laughs> Plastic surgery will not help to find yourself. So much risk. <laughs> Kevin Thaxon says, Tifas are important. They <laughs> and, are. And, and, and what made me laugh was uh, he also said, Squats and donuts at the same time can have good results. <laughs> and I don't think, you know, we're knocking Francis. Yeah, well, maybe Neo yeah. is. I'm not knocking anyone's desire to get plastic surgery. I just Me don't either. think that, that right. should be a priority. My ass should not be a priority over my teeth, which, again, could ha cause health issues if I don't get them treated and fixed and taken care of. You know, I'm not knocking plastic surgery if you're trying to bring yourself back to a where you were. But if you're getting plastic surgery to try to look like someone else, I have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's see. No man is worth me changing my body or face. Mel says, Mel Blaine says, I used, I used to want to have plastic, be a plastic surgeon because of these women. Money. Uh, Dario Winter says, yeah. what about aging? Mel Smart. All right. Oh, and so uh, Jack and Robson also says, when people spend money to get implants and other fake body parts, they basically created a monster. The Kardashians are notoriously yeah. into this mess. Yeah. All right. Those are all the quick fire we have today. All right. Good job, guys. Wait. Two flashy mannequins, y'all. Yep. So is this truth, lies, or shenanigans? Oh God, it's all bullshit. There you go. Yeah. Lizzie, you said it's all bullshit. What are you? What are you saying, Johnny? I say it's truth because Cardi B made a point. In my okay, book. fair enough. So Robbie, you got Listen, it. Cardi B's BBL still gives a keep her man from cheating. Cardi B's BBL did not keep her man from cheating. So. Good point. Good point. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Can't argue with that. All right. Today's sponsor for Quick Fire was Jess Supertonics. Immune support, digestive health, energy, hydration, detoxification, and more. Amazing health benefits await you and your family. Shop JessSupertonics.com today. All right. 